Sense of the internet, I'm Static Buzz, and in this video, uh, we're going to go over the different Korok seed puzzles that you might see out in the world. That way, when you see them, you can recognize them and know what to do when you get them. So, I'm just going to try to go over as many as I can, and hopefully, I get them all, if not a bulk of them, so that you guys know what you're looking for. All right, the first one's going to be something like this right here. You see it on the side of a mountain or a rock like th this one in the sky mountains and you just basically climb to it get on top of it and there you have it Korok seed is yours next we have these water stoppers whatever you want to call them my initial thought was to call them plungers, but that's not a plunger. <laughs> uh, these are going to depend on where they're at, to be honest with you. Sometimes you'll want to attach a heavy object to pull on it, to pull it out. Or in this case, what we want to do is we want to take it over here. We want to put it as deep as we can in the water and then release it. And then it'll pull it out. But like I said, it'll depend on where it's at. You'll have to these ones. You'll have to figure out a little bit more. If it's high up, then you can put something heavy on it and pull it out. If it's low, you want to use the water to your advantage. All that good stuff. Now on to the dandelion. So these ones are a little tricky, and what I found to be the best method is to hit it once, watch where it flies gonna go down right there all right so that's where we're gonna drop down we're gonna hit it I'm gonna drop down to right where it's at and then we're gonna wait for it to come down and we're going to oh it went to a different spot they are tricky ones so uh, we're gonna try it again and what what you have to do is you have to hit the examine when it comes down so you saw it there briefly unfortunately my companion kind of got in the way and blurred the the menu but it came up real quick and said examine and I tapped the A button to examine it right before it hit the ground and that's what you need to do on the dandelions they're a little painful because you saw that one drop here but <laughs> Sometimes they'll randomly drop wherever they feel like it. So, on to the next puzzle. Alright, the next one is a single balloon. Pretty obviously what to do here. And that is... Shoot it with your bow and arrow. I guess you could throw a weapon at it if you really wanted to. If you had something that you wanted to waste. But that's that one. On to the pinwheel. This one's pretty simple. You come up, you just kind of look at where it's at, and then start shooting balloons. And the pinwheels can be multiple colors, so it doesn't really matter. They're all pretty much the same. So next up we have these puzzle ones. If you see these, obviously Korok, key, Korok Seed. I almost said Key. Just got to figure out how to put this into the piece to make it complete. And line it up, right? Come on. You can do it. There we go. Oop, I got the... Rotate on instead of the move away and click. And each one of these will be shaped differently. You'll have to sort them out, figure them out yourself. But if you look at it, you should be able to figure out how the puzzle goes together. Sometimes you'll see these things on the ground moving around. Kind of remind me of the Elden Ring guys. 
But uh, pretty much all you do is just kind of get in the way, spam the A button so you can examine them, and you get another seed. Seed for me. This one I call the tree rock. So if you see a tree like this, it looks like it's been cut off. It looks like it could hold something on top like this. Look for a rock. Usually about that size. Usually in a hole. And you'll take it out of the hole. Place it on top and just let go. And you will get another seed. So when you see one of these underneath a rock, platform, whatever, it just means that you have to use a send, so it, and you should get a Korok seed after doing so. Yay, no seed. I'm getting a lot just doing this video. Uh, the next one doesn't really look like a Kurik uh, puzzle, but it is. Shoot the little jar that's dangling on the chain, and out comes a Korok seed. The next one isn't so much a puzzle as just keeping an eye out for things like rocks in places they should not be. Lift it up, and you will sometimes get a Korok seed. Now, so they do like to put rocks in places all over the map, so you won't find one in all of them. But if it's in a really weird location or really, really up high on a mountain that you had to climb to get, and there's like one rock up there and no rocks all the way up there, it's typically a Korok seed. And now we move on to the yellow flower. These ones can be a little annoying if they're on, if they end up on buildings or go out of sight. I haven't done this one, so I don't know exactly where this one's going to go. But as you approach it, it's going to vanish. And what you want to do is follow it to the next spot. It'll vanish again, and it'll do that maybe about five times or so. And eventually, if you keep following it it will become a seed sometimes it's really hard to see where it's going but most times it's pretty easy like this one no get back up and when it turns white, boom, you get a Korok seed. As long as you can see where it's going, it's not that big of a deal, but sometimes they, I got one on a giant mushroom and it vanished onto another mushroom and then onto a building and then I had to figure out where it went. It was a little problematic, but not too big. And now we come to the rock formation puzzles. These ones are usually pretty simple. You just find the opening on the pattern and place a rock there and it will spawn the Korok seed. Now I did see a cool video where somebody actually dropped a rock weapon. And then move the rock weapon to the spot and put it down and it actually worked. So I uh, wish I remember who that was. I would give him credit, but I don't remember who that was. So uh, if you're one of the people that put out a video that showed that, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> The next one is a diving puzzle. If you see the circle formation down there of the floating lily pads or whatever you want to call those, the trick is to dive into this. Now you can either jump off of a rock like this or you can find a way to launch yourself up and then use your glider to come down. And we're lucky enough to have a updraft over here. We're going to use this to get high enough 
to get above it, and then we're just going to kind of dive down into it. As long as you get in the middle of it, you're fine. You don't have to be exact. And you will get your seed. The next one is pretty simple, just like the other ones. Like it, uh, the stumps with the Kurok seed symbol on it. You just stand on top of it. And then you make your way over to the spot that it goes to, and you get a Kurok seed. So I guess not as simple as the other ones, but still not too difficult, especially if you have the him as your companion. If you don't, then maybe it would be difficult, but I guess if you just hurry, you should be able to get there. Alright, and then the last one is the traveling Korok seed that is away from their buddy. You want to talk to these guys, they'll say they got separated, he can't move. And then they will point you to a distant green smoke that you need to get him over to. And it'll stay up as long as... I don't know, as long as you got you're near this guy, I don't know if it goes away or not. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can build a vehicle, put them on a vehicle. I don't think I have anything to make a vehicle. Uh, I guess I have this. These get squirrely and I don't have a control on me, so... We're gonna do it the... I have nothing... <laughs> in my inventory way, which is to take him and lift him with your ultra hands and just carry him there. Unfortunately, you cannot sprint or do much of anything fast with him under your control. So we're going to just keep moving towards the green smoke. Usually when it's this far away, we will get attacked, usually by skeletons or something. If that is the case, you can drop them, and it won't be an issue. This is going to be the last Kurok Seed puzzle that I cover, because I think I've got them all. I was kind of looking through the different types, and I don't think I missed any. It's very possible I did. And the cool thing about this game is that if you see something, and you're kind of wondering if it looks a little odd or different, and you're wondering if you can do something with it, you probably can. So go check it out and see what you can do with it. But as for Korok seeds, I believe I have covered them all. So once we get this guy over here, I'll show you what you need to do. Almost there. Alright, so pretty much get him near his friend, plop him down, go over. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but I will take it. And then talk to him, and he will say thank you. And you get two correct seeds for all that nonsense, which is good because if it was one, I would be a little upset because that's usually a lot of work when it comes to these guys. So anyways, that, that's all the Kurok Seeds for now. Until next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz, out.